Welcome folks, this is going to be a guide on how to score high damage. Now, as you can see, I do not, and I repeat, I do not possess great units on my light element. Sorry. So, and the reason we're gonna fight with this thing is because um, water, the fire, the phoenix is um, not doing great. She has only 213,000 uh, HPs. So my water team will just rape the living shit out of it and that wouldn't help me. So let's go with this team, okay? How to get high damage number and that's something I've noticed while playing manually. And you need to consider this. There is a damage cap. I think it's 20k. Okay, you can start buffing. We need to increase some damage. Uh, no, this is not something light. Light blessing, raise unit attacker, bestow Aji up. Uh, greater domain of light. Okay, that doesn't do anything interesting. Okay, let's go. We won't forget those yeah, you don't forget forget go, things. Partner. Okay, uh, who's the what? I don't know this character, so okay, it must be you. Great. Now. This is not the greatest team I have, so there's that. We need, how about concentration? Slash attack within out of effect, okay. Go with concentration, right? Ooh, haha. -ha. Okay, well, fine, I will give you that. That's concentration vitality, great, since we have to waste moves to get in range. Okay, we have the Crystal Braver, so we can try and do that. It's a 3 hit damage. I'm not gonna do that now, but we need to build the chain. Uh, Alright, well maybe maybe I'm gonna do that. Oh, on this thing? No, not not really. Come on. Yes, it's your turn. It's your, I don't... Oh, this guy doesn't even have abilities. <laughs> Oops. Well, he's gonna do something anyway. Okay, what we need to do is boost the chain. Okay, we can do that and take out one snake. Now, the reason multi-attacks are the secret in dealing high damage is because of the damage cap. You can easily reach the 20k... Okay, this is one ability. Do you have anything else that deals... Oh, four hit damage. Okay, first of all, prismatic punishment Go with it. Okay. We're building the chain. We're doing what we can from distance. This might not be the greatest um, boss we're fighting. Good Night Rumble is not ready. So Blade of Inertia, 20k damage. Okay, that's the, the limit on the damage you can deal. Now, look at that. I'm gonna do a Tri Piercer. Oh, we cannot. Oh, I did not change it. Oh, damn it. I'm such a dumbass. And we're gonna do 16k damage, and that's a chain. Alright, that's some good damage. Move you down there and do some holy bravery. Um, well, I don't see why. Oh, let's go with this one. Okay, now he's moving, and he's gonna be just that guy. Oh, good job. Okay, you cannot do anything because you're useless. Alright. Silent Elena, do your thing. Uh, yes, let's begin by doing this chain. We need to build up the chain though. So Drain Rush, absolutely. And as you can see, I've dealt more than 20k damage. And that is how you build the damage. Now, Crescentic Break doesn't do anything. The Tri Piercer, however... Okay, that's that's a lot of damage. Now, sadly, I do not change... I did not change back from the guide. I did not change back his calibration. Two hit damage large. Can you do something more? Like, can I do... I don't know the abilities of this. Oh, there you go. 14, okay. And you're not gonna move ever. So I can do this one. Okay, we're on chain 11. 
Deterrent Zord is gonna do... Yeah, it's gonna do some damage. I don't think I've got anything else. Oh no. Oh no. This guy cannot do anything. This guy is useless. Why did I put it in my team? Anyway. Anyway. You, oh, you are out. Oh, you are out of... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Let's see if I can show this to you. Drain Rush. 43k damage. And let's see. That is because... The, the explanation is very simple. The damage is 20k capped per hit. So with a high level of chaining, multiple hits will do 20, 20, 20. So your goal, see, I can do much more. And that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And it keeps going. See, 31k damage. Can I do more with Iridescent Blade? No. So I'm gonna use Crystal Shun Bright, 31k damage. And even with a team that is absolutely trash, like mine, you can do some uh, nice damage if you manage to get that chain going. And this is, keep in mind that this damage is from a team that is not actually properly built. It sucks, it doesn't have maximum, um, maximum level character. So yeah, you can do some high damage numbers here. Now, if a Phoenix was not so bad, I, w I would show you how to get even higher damage numbers, but uh, you are... You are I, don't, I forgot the element of this guy. I forgot the element of this guy. Uh, I think it's uh, water, so I can go with lightning. I don't think I've got much going on for lightning, though. So... So, yeah, uh, this guy is... L do I have anything dark? I have shadow links. Oh, I don't think I have anything dark. Stern, yes. Uh, this is Earth. Do I have anything wind related? Not really. So let's go with this guy. Let's try this guy. This guy has 590k. We need to go with lightning. Now, sadly, I only have lightning selection. Which is kind of sucky. Because we've got these people. But, but, um, well, uh, it is what it is, guys. Let's go. See, you can go with teams that sucks, and due to how multiple chaining works, you can get high damage numbers. Now, I don't know if these guys have multiple chain hits, so for sure she doesn't have anything. Okay, so, yeah, I don't think she has anything. Well, I'll go with an avoidable pain, sure. It's me. better than not wasting a movement. Taunting blade, blood but no, we do not have anything here. Anyway, let's start building the chain. Gotcha. Yeah, this is not what I was expecting, to be honest. I don't have anything that to build the chains and do multiple hits. So... Yeah, let's get this over with because I don't think we will be able to... I will be able to show you how to deal high damage numbers. You can do a mega charge. We have nothing here. Oh, we have Drain Force. I don't know what type of damage Drain Force does. So, yeah. Okay, jamming trust because... Oh, resistance break could be useful here. Right? It's a double hit and it lowers his... What does it lower? Spirit. Which nobody here cares about, so jamming trust it is. And keep in mind this is a level 99 team. Uh, we do not have much in the way of... Um, so Taunting Blade is still the way to go. Yeah, ooh. Nope. There's not much we can do here. Now, <coughs> Learte is going to do Learte thing. 20k damage. We have no multiple hits, so I'm sorry. It just... Uh, it is what it is. 
I thought I had something I did not. Okay, jumping. Do some jamming trust. Building the chain. And yeah, it's it is what it is. Okay. You my friend Drain Force is gonna be stupid. Okay. It's not Drain Rush, it's Drain Force. Okay. We can't do anything. We have Green Reaper here, we've got Hazard Break. Absolutely nothing. Uh, let's go with a Mega Charge. That's it. Actually, you know what? Auto this thing because um, there is nothing I can show you here. So, I will see you maybe against Phoenix later. Uh, here we are against Phoenix. Uh, sadly, she is basically dead, but I've got some nice elements here. So, mono element steam or mono damage type are the greatest thing you can bring to these raids to increase your damage. But if you wanna go past 20k, like I showed you in the light uh, battle against the dark guy, you need to use multiple hit things. Okay? So. Yes, let your sword do the talking, I'm sure. Uh, we need to build. You don't have anything that. It, yeah, you have devotion, that's great. Okay, Ramada, do your things. Ramada, armor piercer, you have no way of chaining, I believe. No, you do not. So, drop your armor piercer then. Sure. Defense down, which is great. Uh, you can drop taunting blade, sure. It's still going to boost the chain. Yudira, please feel free. Drop one of your attacks. There you go. Boosting the chain. Let's see. Uh, let's go over there. We've got Valkyrie Drive. We got Triple Piercer, which is not good right now because we only have a chain of two. So what we need to do is just drop some things that will increase my damage. And that is to be the chain plumage. Alright, plumage seems like a good idea because it lowers water attack resistance. Okay, Ramada is at it again. Obliterate. Okay, we're gonna... Yeah, I don't think you can uh, do anything else interesting here. Maybe a mana strike? Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Okay, we need to move. Can we drop a big number here? Dispelling Trust, 20k. We don't have anything here that does... Oh, Resistance Break. Can we do that? Yeah, 10k damage. Not enough. Let's go with the Dispelling Trust. Can we... Can I do this? Ildira's Theorem. Yeah, CT up. Oh yes! <laughs> hey! Gotcha! Okay, the mice within a dream. Yeah, let's build the chain. Keep going with that. And now Triple Piercer is gonna deal 30k. See? You broke the 20k damage cap. And now you're going for 30k. And that's how you deal so much damage with your characters. If I had steel time, that would be even better. I do not have steel time, so... Sure. Let's drop a Mind Blast here. Obliterate. There's not much to do here, but just drop some... Uh, some moves, because this thing is dead. Oh, slow. That would have been... Uh, nice. Okay, well, this thing is dead, basically. Um, stunning Trust, yeah, do anything. Okay. So, sadly, this thing was almost dead, but you can see how multiple damage can rack up. Look, 213k damage, and I still have action left. So, I can still go now and fight something else. I don't know. Maybe... I have no clue. 
Let's fight Titan. Because why not? Yeah, we killed this guy. Color me not impressed. I need to fight someone that I can attack right now. And I can attack because I've got these guys. And back with the same formation, it doesn't cost me anything. So let's finish up this guild raid by <coughs> trying Titan with a different formation, so we're not doing much damage. Alright, uh, War Maiden's Pride. Excellent. You're mm, we're not gonna do anything here. Okay, well... That was great. I was, I was hoping I could do something, but I, c I couldn't, so just go auto. There you go, we did 6k damage, wow, fantastic. Anyway, I think I drilled the point home. You saw 40k damage on um, the light element, you saw 30k damage on the water element, and that is how you get your high damage going. The problem comes from not having the units that have the multiple hit abilities. However, if you do not have that in a mono, mono element, you can do that in a mono damage type. Let's go into formation and see how you can exploit that to greater heights. So let's go here and say you want to go with missile because why not? So the things you need to have are gunners. And the more gunners you have, like Lucia, I don't have them level up, but I'm just putting them for as an example. So any double gunner is a great addition to your mono damage type. And you need to find someone who does the same. I don't remember who has the double gunner thing with the quadruple shot. Quadruple shot is great. So if you manage to find those guys, put them in the team. Sadly, I don't see anyone here who can deal that damage from a distance. So you're kind of left on your own devices. Multiple attacks. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, multiple attacks. Uh, I don't necessarily know. What? Well, I think you get the point, right? I don't need to explain to you. I think Venera has... Uh, Venera, Venera, Venera has a sub job. Well, she has a sub job that allows you to use to use missile attack. So uh, play around with um, sub jobs, and you should be doing much, 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 much more damage when you use the multi-hit attacks when you reach the damage cap with a good chain. Anyway, I know it's contrived and convoluted, but I think I got the point across. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.